Gundel Restaurant opened in 1894. So good evening, this is Gale Force Winds from the beautiful building of Gundal Restaurant in Budapest. Uh, I would like to introduce you to the manager of the restaurant, but why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, good evening. My name is Norbert Poljak. Uh, I am the general manager of uh, Gundal. Um, Gundal has a 127 years old history and this is one of the most famous cafe, patisserie and restaurant in Hungary, established by the family name called Gundal. Gunda Karoy, our history going back to the 18th century where they built the zoo next door and we were lucky enough that they thought we need to have a restaurant here and this is where they built and by the time 1920s we were world famous, we were the official caterer for example the New York World Exhibition so our catering history and our restaurant history goes back over a century. Um, if you want to try proper Hungarian food and want to experience Hungarian gastronomy, you must come and visit us because we have over 80 recipes belong and made within these walls. Gunda Karo was very famous about his precise taste and what he wanted to do. He also had 13 kids who grown up within these walls. So I, needless to say, his hospitality was over the moon. He was very famous finding the place to everyone's heart through the gastronomy. And this is how he done, because we had a massive garden, a coffee area, a restaurant area. We have a nice ballroom upstairs and seven different functional rooms as well. So there's plenty of opportunity and this is how he found the place to everyone, regardless if you are an aristocrat or if you had less money. He managed to spot and put you to the right places. Um, apart from that, come and try us and visit us. Thank you. Okay. That's wonderful. So we had we were really fortunate this morning. So we had a chance to go around this building and now there's only one thing to uh, try is the wonderful food. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Bon appétit. <laughs>
actors having seen the restaurant. We are now up at the first floor. This used to be the private apartment for the Gunda family. This is a private room. It's called today even the family room. You have some private pictures on the wall from the family. Gundel Charles, Gundel John. It still belongs to the family, so it's the most ancient restaurant, which is still family owned. The aristocratic family in Hungary always had a kind of boudoir to be able to talk separately and always a ballroom. And in the ballroom you had the kitchen which just sent up the food so that it doesn't smell. This part was the dining room. After having had the dinner, they could go to the ballroom for dancing. And of course, this ballroom was open to people who did not use the same staircase as the family, because as I mentioned, this was the private apartment for the Gundel family. So there is another staircase where the guests could come up from the street. This is it. This is the ballroom for dancing. Today it is used for ceremonies or for companies who have their anniversary, for example, it can be rented. This is the royal staircase where the guests can come up. And you can see on one side a king of Hungary and on the other side the queen of Hungary. CC is very, very light to so Queen Elizabeth. And of course, you have a balcony from where you can also have some champagne or admire the zoo. So where would the family sleep? Now we go back to the private part. This is really to show you the ballroom place and all the houses on the Andrashi Avenue, which we saw, they have this part at the bottom, it means that they did not have a restaurant, so this is why they had an entrance hall, a ballroom with boudoir, fumoir and the dining place. And separately on the top they had the sleeping room. There was a door here of course, and here all along you had the family life for the bedrooms, for the small saloons. For example, we will see one of them. Of course, a mirror is very important in every place. Before we go away, we have to see whether we are smart enough and beautiful enough. This is an example of the bedrooms. Today, of course, all of them can be rented for private meetings as a boardroom or for a dinner or for a business lunch. This is called the Music Hall. Scholti, uh, he's the musician whose portrait was here on the wall. The other bedroom is named the Jolnai Room. Jolnai is the porcelain, which one of our porcelains, because we have three porcelain manufacturers, Herendi for the royal court, Jolnai, which we can see here, and also Holluhazi. Here you can see the fireplaces, Jolnay, and also the flower pot decorations are from Jolnay porcelain. This is the same porcelain as the service for the dishes which we saw, but with different patterns. Now we arrive to the Herendi room, so this is the other porcelain of Hungary. This used to be for the royal family of Franz Joseph and Sissi, and also Queen 
uh, of England in the 19th century, Victoria, she decided to order a 200 pieces collection of this heron de porcelain. She loved it so much. We arrive at the back of the places, and here you have a small uh, room. This was uh, not a bedroom, but it was already uh, the winter garden, as the family called it. They could chat here, so this was a small private living room when they just wanted to talk on their own. And here you have the winter garden. Of course, the balcony is in communication with all the bedrooms and also the ballroom so that people can go from here to the other rooms whenever they wanted to. Now, the garden belongs to the restaurant, but originally behind the trees we have the zoo which starts. The zoo was lasting until here, so you really could have the elephants in the garden. That's why the logo has elephants. Exactly, that is why we have the Kuntil logo with elephants. And there you can see the pale granite roof of the main entrance of the zoo. This is also from porcelain. And we have many beautiful decorations in the zoo. For example, the house of elephants is in porcelain. Or we have uh, the house of the giraffes, which also has a long neck or you have uh, the rock for the monkeys. We really try to feel every animal for himself at home, so we give a comfort for the animals. So can you, in the summer, can you eat out there? This part, so the upper part, is only for renting in private. You can eat outside, but in the gar garden, which we just saw, so it's beautiful under the trees. Here it's more for events, uh, for groups or for business lunches, or uh, also to do a summary, for example, for a year. Now, of course, uh, you have the flip chart and uh, you have uh, every audio items to, to do presentation. We are now in the cigar room because, of course, end of 19th century, beginning of 20th century, it was very important to have a separate place for men. Only men were allowed to enter into cigar rooms. So it was very important to chat, usually about business or about derby also here. Of course, it is communicating with outside directly because it was just like in a steam bath if many people were here. But it was absolutely important that all the restaurants, which are prestigious, have a place for the cigar. If you come here to see the pictures, you will see the prestigious people who came already to this restaurant, some of them. Queen Elizabeth II, The Habsburg, Georg, Putin, also Margaret Thatcher made her visit here. Yes, Queen of England and of Canada. <laughs> Elizabeth II. 